guys, I just got the best thing for my birthday. And I was not expecting it. It's this. This is the latest addition to my collection. Uh, I've just, I've, I took it out of the box this morning. One thing was missing, a buffer. That was it. But the thing is, I don't think anyone's bo bothered about a front buffer. Um, because they're like, um, they're never used. And, um, It's something that hardly anyone noticed. It's most of the time it's it's pulled from the back, and of course it's got a back coupling. But I can't tell whether it's an M or um. A homemade or another one because I have got another bag that consists of another coupling um, but I think that may be designed for slightly more tighter curves um, to see paintwork is absolutely Immaculate, I mean, the state of this thing is just gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, you can see even there on the side of the bogey has been painted. Um, I mean, the front cylinders have been painted. They're, well, they've been picked out in a sort of special way. They've been moulded. Um, I like it when people do things like that. Um, and then, of course, you've got the lettering. says locomotive's name King Henry the Third um and of course it's a great western king class yeah did I mention I have got a king class now this is my very first king class um that other castle class I've got He's currently not working. It still needs to, um, it still needs to service and it still needs to take its second trip down the model shop. I just don't know, um, how we need, how we can fix it. But, Let's not leave it sitting here. See, I'll do it both ways. Um, I do believe, yes, I've got power on already. Um, now I'm going to turn the control up. Slowly, I do believe, yep, that, that is, that is the bottom line where this locomotive is sitting. I am not going to run it all the way around, okay? I'm not going to do a, a full test of the layout. I'm just going to run it 
forwards for a couple of meters and then backwards um to into the station and that's going to be about it and if the tender doesn't fall off the line then we're good we're really good we've got a good job there if the tender does not fall off a line then that means it can survive our track work and it it really does it, it, it's it's heavy enough to withstand such so just slight jolts in the track work because there are it, I'm not personally I'm not a very good track builder track maker whatever you want to call it um as you've seen me do things like that in the past and it's not going very well um but as you say forwards or backwards um let's give it a start Three, two, one, let's go. Ooh, let's give it a nudge. Oh, we're on reverse. Another nudge. Oh, that's the buffer again. Let's just leave it with that back there. Hmm. Slightly concerned. Um. But let's just ignore the fact that the buffer has come off. And it's dropped off onto the track. Um. Well, that just proves... Um, for the detail, it gets a five star. For the quality, it gets a four star. And that's what it is, in my opinion. Because, um, a locomotive needs to be durable. And it needs to be... In... You can't have things dropping off in your hands from an, from another locomotive and then another locomotive coming along and just going running over it and the, it going ping and then you lose it forever. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Um. Where have I been? I have been away for a long time. That's right, I have been um I have been at school doing work. But I am now off. I am off and I'm on holiday. It's that buffer that goes on front. Um, just give me a second. Um, don't know if this is going to work. Um, we'll hold this at an angle. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to. You won't see it, but it goes right there. 
and then in the buffer hole, right there. And try and sort of stick it back in there. And, so, and it simply just drops off. And so now I'm going to have to pick it back up again and then try and sort of have a knack for this buffer, I suppose. There we go. It's back on. Otherwise, it's one of those locomotives that's going to have to be straight out. So, as, as it goes along, as less nudges as you can um, because of the buffer beam. Because otherwise, if you give it too big a nudge, the buffer falls off. And also, you're not really supposed to put your hand in shot um, when you're filming locomotives. Um, only because, um, you probably all know this already, but... It's not realistic and it's not a proper part of modelling. I should probably take my foot off my station. Uh, by the way, um, last time I last time I talked about this and um, did a big thing with this, this wasn't glued down, but now it is all glued down and I am happy with it and uh, it's been been the same ever since and uh, so is this this is all glued down I just need um I just need these two um these two beauties to go into the shed there um and that's that will work as a temporary um, shed and station. But the thing is, um, I need better points. I really do, because <laughs> when it, when locomotives of mine go over points, they are absolutely crap. Um, especially, um, especially locomotives with a system, um, like my castle class, or a king class, but my king class is made by Hornby, um, and this is a more modern design, um, I'm not quoting anything, Hornby, but I've got to say, my castle class was a lot older Hornby, Hornby Railways um, and it doesn't have a box um, was another thing um, yeah um, I've got nothing other thing no nothing other to say um, other than I hope you guys have been faring well. Um, and these pans. I hope you... If you comment down below, most of you, and tell me, which locomotive do you think was better? Because this is a Hormy Railways locomotive. Brand new. I bought... I got it today. My um, mum... And stepdad got it for me for my birthday, um, for God knows how much, um, but it's way over a hundred. I'll give you a clue. 
because most Hornby locomotives tend to be way over 130 pounds more or less so that's what they tend to be like um mainly because of the good quality motors and the wheel set and the detail on the um so yes I uh, all I'm asking for is comment down below saying which one do you think was better this king cross made by Hornby railways Or my older, much older, Hornby Railways Castle Class. Um, it looks pretty similar to this, except it's not blue. It's green, and it's got a, its boiler is much much smaller, and it has got a insert valve system so steam will disperse and go something will go wrong with the locomotive if um, the innards of this thing aren't tended to because the innards of, thin of this thing are connected by valves to the brakes and then round to the other side as well um they switch because they got brakes on both sides um so this works for the brakes and the, and the cylinders on the underside um and it also inserts excess steam back to the um, valve gear I believe and shoots it out um, so it can suck in more water I believe um, because it's a great western engine and it's a good design um but castle classes were also great western engines as well and i'm just wondering um i i really want an answer from you guys why and how what can be a, what can be the difference there are there is no difference there there cannot be a difference i mean to tell me about it this has been sitting on the side all day looking very very nice because i i like looking at at um things like this because i am a very vain person looking at my own products um but no Castle class, um, it is green. Um, um, you'll know what it looks like when it appears in the next video. But for now, um, I hope you guys have had a fantastic term, and um, I so I shall see you very soon. Peace out, guys.